Alrighty, let's do this. This will be a real short one here. Uh, I just wanted to cover uh, some slight updates that we've done. I got my wand of equal trade going a little bit. I got a uh, gold capped and uh, greater wood wand. I got the research for the rest, but I just don't, I have to do the progress on that. So we are wand of equal trading a bit more. So we are starting to look halfway as decent. Hung some chandeliers, made another magnum torch. What I wanted to cover here real quick, for people that are using Direwolf 20s, um, uh, automated uh, inscriber, there's a very super simple way to automate it remotely. You're gonna take the chest that you normally have your stuff in. There's an ME interface. This is obviously peer-to-peer -peer networked, but you simply add another chest and change one code. You come into this, it's under this trigger group. Instead of outputting to the original chest, you output it to another chest. And then you have an import bus. And that chest is sitting right here. And that's all there is to it. You can see the import bus right there. And what that gives you the ability to do is to come over here. And let's say you want, oh, I don't know. That's Silicon. Let's say you want another one of these processors. You can just click one. All it's going to do is drop a silicon in that main chest. That's all it's going to do. It'll come over, press, get sucked out, done. So instead of having five of these things lying around, taking up space, you can just have the one. And again, it's literally two changes. Add another chest. And change one piece of code which is again, this output trigger here. And all you're doing literally is changing it from that chest to the one you added. That's really all there is to it. I've added a molecular chamber. Molecular chambers are gonna take up, you can use more, but I have them set up to take four channels. That'll be the second one eventually. There's eight channels. Again, we're always counting by eight. We've got another set up here. We'll get total four, there'll be eight there. This guy's one, two, three, four five, six, I got two spare there. So that's all there is. So as long as you keep counting by eight, I am wearing a pair of goggles of revealing finally. It's doing okay. So our drives are going okay. I have to move the uh, ender quarry again. Did a little brewing. But by and large, we're good. We've added our auto crafting unit, which is just a 4K and a monitor. We have built in one CPU, but as we need them, we'll just fill this out. That's all I've been up to. Basically that and um, cosmetic stuff and doing lots of Thomcraft research. We are prepping upstairs to actually start building some of our magic stuff. So we'll come up the ladder here real quick. Come on. All the way up. I had some chisel blocks cooking away, and I decided to do this top area here initially in marble. And that's all I did. So, outside of that, I haven't done uh, much else. Just been tinkering with Thomcraft research as it allows. And hopefully, a little bit later, we'll have a bit more to do. But there's our city. Next uh, full run that I get to do, we're going to reactivate these guys and put them back to work. Um... Man, maybe tap into that thing finally, but that's pretty much it. I haven't done uh, a whole lot beyond that. Yeah, don't worry, this is going to be real short. I don't have a lot of time here. It's uh, i got to pack up and get ready for the uh, LAN party coming up this weekend, so i got to get that all squared away. But yeah, that's... That's all it really is. This is guy has been configured for generating some of our uh, where is it here in there man there he can now make our dusts and I added in one of these crystal growth chambers unlike the normal accelerators this one just takes six and you can actually put stuff in it so you can request stuff a little bit easier but that's really it I threw that panel in there temporarily ran some more cable and basically we've just been kind of squaring things away there. So not a whole lot going on, but uh, it's holding out. Um, nothing's changed in the power room. 
So that's good there, but we have gone through quite a bit of research. And let's get that up to speed here. Throw that stuff in, don't need that, don't care, don't care, don't care, still don't care, not really caring. There we go, Oop, wait, don't need you, there. So where is that book? There it is. So we've been tinkering through, getting some of our alchemy stuff out of the way. We're gonna start getting um, our in the infusion altar up there. That's why I built that floor up at the top. So hopefully I'll be able to get into that. So Arp, I have so much lag on my end. It's hard to follow. So, it's hard to follow me right now anyways. I'm pretty tired, but it's been a long day. My back's been bothering me, so. But again, we've made everything user accessible. So, that is our kind of our mantra, is we want to keep this user serviceable. So, no cables buried that we can't get to. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, let's see here, is there anything else I wanted to do here real quick? I'm still tinkering with the settings, trying to get the display up a little bit better. Oh, and yeah, we did some potion work. So I went out and grabbed quite a few. Trying to get our numbers up a bit. Needless to say, potion brewing is not my thing. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's got to get done, so. Luckily, I don't go through these a lot, so we can just do some manual work down here in the dark corners. We'll push this down further. We'll put those ore berries and stuff in that back hallway as well, so. But let's get this stuff tossed away. Don't care, don't care. Lots more scanning. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot more scanning. And basically, I've just been slowly building up our auto crafting capabilities. So, I think where we're at right now, this is what we've, we're able to craft now automatically. And <clears throat> the nice thing is, is now we can get cable automatically. So, it don't have to be, you know, terribly, uh, terribly uh, judicious with our cabling now that we can automatically craft it. So, but, um, we're making progress. We are making progress. Ouch. Don't boil myself. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to be loading up, in fact, I should probably check and see how bad it is, is our Enduro lighting. I think I can do that here in a few minutes here. So, at Ender IO. And where is my light? My precious, precious light that I love so much. No, that ain't it. Where is it? Here it is. Powered light. Ooh, they have a wireless powered light now, too. Hmm. Isn't it ender? Ooh, ouch. Those are painful. Nah, we'll just use normal powered lights. Uh, that's not too terribly bad. I could swing that. Let's see if we can get that programmed in. I don't think I have capacitors programmed in yet, so let's get those taken care of here. Boom. This is our crafting terminal. Process pattern. Let's go with powered light. Let's get our basic capacitor in there. We also need to know how to make gold nuggets, so let's do that first. Done. And the nice thing is we have this interface terminal. We can just throw it in. See, molecular assembler shows up. Boom. Don't have to run upstairs and put it in and run back downstairs. So that's done. Let's go with our next step. Powered. Let's go with the circuit itself. There we go. Make sure we got an ingot there. Done. We can throw this in here. Scroll down. And that scared the hell out of me the first time it happened. I forgot about that. And now we can throw in the final version here. Clear this. Powered. And should click that in. Boom. Make sure we got the right type of glass and stuff, just to make sure. Done. And now, we can automatically make our powered lights. 
And let's go with, um, oh hell, let's see if we can get away with 100. Do we even have that much? Actually, let's double check and see how much glowstone we have. Glowstone, 200, yeah, we can do probably 100. Let's see how well this works. Powered, lights. Let's see what happens if we ask for 100. We are missing silicon, and we need a recipe how to make silicon and how to make glass. So it works out well. First thing, we're gonna to need to know how to make sand. So let's grab a piece of sand here and a piece of cobblestone. So we can get that programmed in. We can come up here. We're gonna turn this to process. Throw on one piece of cobblestone, throw on one piece of sand as the output. Done. And this interface is going to go to our sag mill. So now we know that we can throw in one piece of cobblestone into the sag mill and get sand. Now we're going to get silicon. Silicon, there's a piece. Wash, rinse, repeat. Piece of sand, piece of silicon. And that's not inconsistent, that's somewhat inconsistent. So let's, let's just assume 10 pieces of sand will get us one piece of silicon. We'll see. If we end up with more, hey, perfect. End up with less, fine. So again, we come over here to the interface, we come back to the sag mill, and we throw that pattern in. So now we can get all that that we want. Next up, we need glass. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. We go here, one piece of sand, let's pull up glass this one piece of glass boom and that can go to our alloy smelter because we have that locked at furnace mode only so there now let's go back and try our 100 oops, powered lights 100 and we can see that we're short cobblestone why does it say that we need 3383 probably because of the silicon yeah, that's right, right there. Because we're gonna need 400 silicon to make 100 lights. Oof, duh. We need a lot of cobblestone. You know what? We can get that volume of cobblestone. That I'm not worried about. That is not an issue at all. Cobblestone, really? Pfft, whatever. We're just gonna move our ender quarry, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move the ender quarry. Fences. And you're out riding fences. Alrighty, sticks. I know we got a lot of sticks. Keep them coming. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. We we got to still. I'm still trying to figure out a way to do a nice elevator over there. But in the meantime, I got a ladder. So let's go move our ender quarry, and that'll get us all the cobblestone we need. We're not voiding cobblestone. I'm a firm believer in using every little scrap that you can get. But I think we're going to move our ender quarry back into this world. It was great getting all those mythical metals, but I didn't need any of them. So, I don't think that really worked out for us in the end. Come on, up the weird creepy mountain hill that has this creepy king inside of it that I don't want any part of. There is our old quarry. Yep, that horn. Can't go wrong. The horn is the way to go. Alrighty, and we are done with this, I'm pretty sure. No, I want to click on the quarry itself. There we go. Yep, quarry is finished. Alrighty. Let's disconnect this and this. And this. Are we out? Oh, yeah, we're out of space. Whoopsie! Mm -hmm. Let's throw our sand that and silicon there. There we go. And C 
Seacrest out. Run away, run away, run away. Yeah, it's all that uh, mithril and all that stuff. I haven't found a use for any of it. So we got a good stockpile of it either way. But let's just get back to normal. Normal mineage. Oh, dear God. I loaded the Matmos pack for a little additional ambiance, but I still have to iron out some things. I miss that. But ever since the update, it's kind of hacked in, and it's not working very good, so... All right, let's just head out here, and we'll do our next quarry right here by our base, because why not? Yes, it, well, it takes out cobblestone. It takes out everything except dirt. That's really how that boils down. So, yeah, this looks good. We'll start here. One, two, three. There's our corner. All right, I need a way up. Um, piece of dirt. And let's send back our mana tablet. There's our piece of dirt there boom all right there we go and these can be pretty much any size and I haven't mined this direction at all so you can do this with ender quarry marker thingies that are all awesome and lack like build craft landmarks and stuff but I'm a cheap bastard and I'm broke once this quarry gets up and running then we'll have a little more play material but I burned out just about everything just getting the, the plat energistic stuff up and running, so. Yeah, this looks good. Why not? Oops. Don't want that. Come here. That'll just confuse the hell out of the ender quarry. Alright. Back. super huge. Continuing on. Do 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 do. Hey Zelzer. Be a short one today. Just moving our ender quarry to get that up and running back in the real world versus the Twilight Forest because that mining was pretty much a bust. We got what we needed out of it, but we get way too many of the mythic ores and not enough of the normal ore. So, and we're actually hard up, get this, for cobblestone. <laughs> Only I could run out of cobblestone. I went through I went through compressed I had like quad compressed cobblestone I had like 30 of those burned through that so go fig a tick tick tock a tick tock tick a tick tock tick tock tick tock oops went a wee bit too far here right about here Could have made this a whole. Actually, nah, I should come down here. Yeah, it's uh, what I'm going to do this time though is I'm just going to play in the background until that roof is done, and then I pick it off, pick it up there. So basically, try to replay back to where we were. So yeah, we will 
we will be getting back to DF. No worries there. Just been busy. Got my hair cut today, too. There we are. Okay, so there we are. Come here. Yeah, we'll drop a dirt block there. Why not? Punch out one segment. Like so. It happens. There we go. There's our intercory. Analyzing boundary. It's good to go. Put our chest on top. Not too worried about those little guys there. So we'll do this. Power supply there. We know that we don't need the fence anymore, technically. I can throw that there. Fluid duct there. And ender tank. Hello, ender tank. Um, ender tank? There it goes. There we are. And out you go. You're powered up. Don't need those. And let's see what happens here. There it goes. It's up and running. If you're looking for a good, uh, scary mix, actually, um, one of the fun ones that I've tried is find a, um, a, a good biome that borders an evil biome, so you can have uh, unicorns fighting undead, that kind of stuff. So that's rolling in here. Do, 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 do. Plenty of cobblestone out of that now. Let's see how our numbers are looking. Cobble. Uh, yeah, we're good. We needed 3,000, I think, cobblestone. That we can help along. Do, 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 do. Again, after hollowing this out, I'm still out of cobblestone. How does that even happen? Oh! I don't even know. I just find that so improbable. Of course, I lost a lot, lost a lot of stuff when I uh, accidentally obliterated that. Uh, yeah, shut up, cows. I used to work a horse show. It is that bad. Oh yeah, that'd be. Uh, See if we can get everybody switched over to vampires. Uh, I don't know if they fixed the glitch though with the um, not drinking and their mood. That could backfire horribly. All right, eh, this looks good. Oh yeah, there's that cliff. We'll go to the other side of the cliff first. Ooh, I see a node. Come here, Node. Always can use more of you. There we are. Let's see here. Do I have any torches? No. Eh, brother. No, this won't take long. Aha. That's what I'm looking for. Coal. All right, we can do this. And chuck that here. Couple of these, chuck that. That'll give us some torches so you guys can see what the hell's going on. There we go. And I can send all these fences back. Wrong bag. Right bag. You can go back. Oh, you can go back. Here's more cobblestone, and we can once again see what we're doing. But your rate, where are you? Not that terribly far 
away. Oops, wrong one. I hate gravel. So loathed and despised gravel, I would try to rather mine around you. God, I gotta be right on top of this thing. Aha, there we are. Ooh, look at you. All right, let's send back some of our cobblestone. Um, ooh, shiny. Normal? That's it? You piece of garbage. You'll always be garbage. Alright, what do we got over here? Anything? Nothing that I need. I'm here for bulk cobblestone. In fact, away, what, another 20? 25 uh, pieces there. That's all sandstone and limestone. We don't care. Ooh, there's another node way over there somewhere. That's a hell of a long ways away, though. Where are you hiding? Nice, dense. Oh, I see. You're way down there in the bottom. I'll come back for you later. What do we got over here? Looks like we have a little more. We got a little more bulk. gets normally updated, if ever. All right, that ought to do. That ought to help out quite a bit with our need for cobblestone. By the time we get back to base, you know, may not be able to get a hundred lights, but maybe we'll be able to get, you know, 50. I'd actually wager we're going to get a lot more just because we're going to actually get more silicon out of our process than we actually told Applied Energistics. We said 10 pieces of sand will get us one silicon. It's actually closer to probably like 50%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've gotten two necromancers. I've lost to both of them both times there's never really been I've never found a good solution to the necromancers in Dwarf Fortress but I, it'd be nice if we had the option to just burn the body parts I don't mean like throw them in lava I mean actually have an option to you know burn the dead as a disposal means crematoriums basically I know I think Masterwork added crematoriums cobble they're up to about a thousand. That's not too terrible. All right, let's see how many powered lights we can get then. Powered. Uh, we couldn't do a hundred, so let's try fifty. Eh, missing two hundred and sixty, huh? All righty. All right. Well, let's try twenty. Maybe we can get twenty. There we go. Start. So that whole process is rolling along. I don't I think it'll be done before I even get up here, but we come up here and maybe we'll be able to see something getting made. Oh, look at this. They're making the glass. Although you were supposed to be in furnace only. Well, 
that's no good. I'll send you back that way. Okay, you're cooking up silicon. Oh man, you'll have to inject the sand in there. Although it, may be, it might be smart enough. It might be smart enough to use the other type of glass. Who knows? Yeah, there were uh, leftover. I made way too many of them. You use chandeliers in making magnum torches, and I had like an obscene excessive number of them left over because I totally miscounted. So I just slapped them up just to give some basic lighting down here. We're actually going to use electrical lighting for almost all of our lighting, but... Asked for 20, we already got 10 out. Uh, powered. Yeah, we got 9 so far. So, these guys, I think their range is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, like, yeah, right by the chandelier here. So, we'll end up running conduit. That's why these ceilings are as tall as they are. We'll run conduit. And then we'll end up running the light on top of it. So let's see what we've got here. Do it. There it is. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wow. So let's say we can take right here. They can probably come out. Let's see here. Let's find a corner. That way we can measure things off properly. So that'd be like one, two, three, four. Let's just do five. That looks like a pretty decent place to start. Oops. Uh, maybe I did make the ceiling the right height. Nope, Mary, come here. Normally I make these so. There it goes. So yeah, you must be surface mounted. Alright, that's fine. That makes this really easy then. So one, two, three, three, four, eight, and one. Ah. One, two, three, four, and five. Like so. Okay, good. So that means this would come this way on the five. One. Should have made this roof just one shorter. Oops. Although I could do that effect for like a sprinkler, I suppose. No, quit doing that. I swear I'm gonna get the next frame. power on the other side of this wall. There it is. And we'll run you like this, like this, this, and this. There we are. So we have power here. And then we can take our powered light and slap you right here. That should be a powered light right there, unless I got the wrong ones. Maybe one of the inverted ones. No, you're on. No, you're not. You're off. Pretty sure we're linked up. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're linked up. I think I wanted the inverted ones. I think these are the ones that take a redstone signal. Meh, that'll do too. I guess we want them to be able to flip them on and off, right? So, conduit. And just to make my life easier, I'm going to do this. Like here. There we are. Let's make it easier. And we're going to put the light switch 
on green. So hopefully that's what we need. There, there, there. Where do we want to put the light switch? So you're right about here. Seems like a reasonably intelligent place to put a light switch. Power system dipped down low enough. There's that. 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 Come here. There. There we are. And here we go. One, two, three. And now I just need a lever. That ought to do. Right, and this is shift left click, and I want the direction is that that is south. Left click south, and out color green. I think I can do it like this. No, how the hell do I do it? Well, I can do it like this maybe? No. Maybe, actually, hold on, let's do this. Put this here. Left click, that would be south. I'm looking facing north, west. Or green. Oops. There we go, now we got a light. Ta-da! Hooray, we have lighting. I think that's going to be close enough. I don't want to build too much and then find out we got the wrong unit of light. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. But nope, I don't see anything. I think that's a good amount of light. What do you think? I think we hit our corner just enough. Yeah. So there we are. So that means we should be able to come, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'd be a gap of ten. And then the eleventh guy, we can put another light. And like, boom. Off. On. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta turn you onto the, oops. Gotta turn you on for the green channel. There we go. How's that looking so far? Um, I think 11 is n too far. I think we'll have to go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then hit the sixth one. Goes green. One, two, three, four. Oops. I'll take the light off. Yeah, put the power chip kind of back in. There we go. And then the light. And then the right click. Perfect. All right, gents, I'll see you later. Time to start dinner.